We got another video queued up here. We can see Big Perk looking upset. Big Perk already talking about Big Rudy fella about Rudy Gobert, who you've had some harsh words. Is that the word we use for in the past? Yeah. You're yeah, right. honestly, I didn't say they were wrong words. You're right. But they were harsh, <laughs> but they were harsh words. Yeah, I've been taking a lot of flack online with that, man. I've been taking a lot of social media flack. Let's let, let's see what Perk. I take it all. I had to say. <laughs> I have the biggest regret in my media career, and yeah. Molly, I'm retired. You yeah. D Shannon from voting for individual awards, regular season awards, because I have done a disservice in my using my voting rights. Me voting this season for Rudy Gobert, okay, <laughs> is an embarrassment for me for defensive player of the year. He's the first player that we see every single time in the postseason that becomes a defensive liability. <laughs> Don't come give me these analytics. Don't come giving me these plus minus stats because that's the most overrated stat in the NBA. When I look at Rudy, when I look at Rudy, he has tarnished the defensive player of the year award. Say, tarnished. Man, the defensive player of the year. Oh, award. that's my guy. Do you right agree? There, you dog. also hate Rudy Gobert. I didn't uh, say I hate him, but I just don't think he's defensive player of the year because you're not, you don't put liability on defense and, and all that stuff in the same sentence as the defensive player of the year, man. Wait, three four, times, four, four times. times. Oh, this four. was, this was, yeah, this was four. You know what I mean? And that, that was my point. Like. It's easy to get weak side blocks and be seven five and block shots. It's easy. And no dis I, mean, I know he's he's blessed to be that tall. I'm not trying to penalize him for being tall. But man, defensive player of the year, man, you gotta be able to play defense at all levels if you really out there playing defense. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many blocks you get, it ain't that's not that for me. And I'm a wing though, so I know your opinion is gonna be different because I know how hard it is to truly chase these guys off screen, really match these guys' energy, really trying to take their first move really trying to stop their angles, w compete with. That stuff is tough, man. And, and you rarely get, you get some bigs that get average 30 nowadays, but all these wings are getting buckets. These are the dudes averaging 30, on you got to look 35. You got, that's where the, mm. man, you got to guard these dudes. And, you know, and, and in this series in Minnesota against Dallas, they, mm. they, they put him in, so, like, that's the play. Man, who go by guard that? No, we ain't running that. Get him on the perimeter, Man, her, yeah. Get him over here. Get him over here so we can, you know what I mean? And and that's and, and, and I've heard people say it, and I think we said it on the show, is that you almost got to take him out in key defensive situations because... That's tough to say for I the know, deep I, boy, man. I get, I get it. it, yeah. But they haven't. They've taken out Cat more than they've taken out him, and I get it because he's the deep boy. I get it. Mm -hmm. But, man, it wasn't working. And I know they got that big win, but man, they they, they got to figure out something. He got to figure out something. But I, I, I'm kind of with Perk a little bit, you know. I, I'm with Perk. It's tarnishing the the award. Is it tarnishing well, the award? Yeah. I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't necessarily say tarnishing, but yeah, it's fucking it up though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But not tarnishing. That's like, tarnishing. Like, like <laughs> that's tarnishing. Like, but but no, I was I was saying that before. You know what I'm saying? To me, he's not that, yeah, he won it, congrats with that, but he's not that aggressive defender that you thinking about, like, back in the day, we played, when we played Denver, who was the first person you thought about? Back in the day with Denver, deep, deep. Mm, Fucking Mutombo. Like, God, let me know where this, could he guard that? Luka on a switch, though? But but see no what I'm saying is it's a, it's a different thing and it's a different mentality. See mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, if Mutombo had got switched out there, you talking about defense and discipline. He's gonna try to force you one way. He might be slow as fuck trying to cover you, <laughs> right. but you're gonna go that one way. He ain't gonna have you out there roller skating the way Rudy was out there salsa dancing the other night <laughs> for, for that game win. You know what I'm saying? He was salsa dancing out there. In, no. Yeah. He's, he's think of Ben. Same thing. Ben Wallace. Like, all right, let me know what he gonna block shit. He gonna grab these rebounds, this and that. You know what I'm saying? When you think of these different defensive players of the year, it's like shit. That's the first person you think about when you think about this team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first person I think about when I think about the T Wolves is Ant Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And more of his defensive presence than. Yeah, with Rudy, I, I was saying that before. He don't have that aggressive no. 
like, oh yeah, you, I dare you to bring that shit in no, here. No, you know, he don't no. have that that presence like that, yo. No, no. Why is there such like a divide though on the way the media feels? Because again, four time depoy, but it does feel like none of the players. The ones that play his position don't seem to respect him. The ones that go at him don't seem to have any issue calling his number. Like you said, why is it that divide? But see, it's amazing for people who don't play against seven footers and stuff all day long or how easy it is. Like when you play against guys every single day, you don't look at him like I don't look at she like he's a seven footer. You know what I mean? Because I see him every day right. and I know I can get my shot over him every day. So it's nothing to me because I play against him every day. So when. People on the outside looking in say like, oh, Rudy Gilbert, 7'4", he's blocking shots and us, all that stuff. And we looking at him like, man, please, hurry up and get this man <laughs> screen number, rolls. Yeah. You know, we know, how to sh- we know how to shoot over him. We know every now and then if we somebody else is guarding us, he on the weak side and he can come get a block, yeah, he'll get that. But mm-hmm. he not rarely, he's rarely blocking the ball off people's fingertips. Straight finger, up. You know, straight up off people's mm-hmm. fingertips. You know what I'm saying? Because guys are so skilled. They know how to manipulate you and create the angle, create the cro- proper spacing to be able to get that shot off. So that's why guys in the league just be like, man, psh. but they like that with everybody. They don't think nobody can guard them. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's, just, that's the yeah. league. So how do we get a consensus on like the big awards? Cause it's like, he's four times tied for the most ever, but the players don't respect. I don't think you can have the players vote on it. Can you, everybody would just vote for their friends. I mean, yeah, no, but I mean like, okay, you, you look at some of his stats. Yeah. You got some good blocks, big blocks, but again, that's good. That's that's great for regular season. That's all great for regular season. Yeah. You lead, you let the league in blocks or change shots. You know, with all these Flexing analytics, how they yeah. do the shit. Yeah. Fine. That's that's all great. But you ain't changing a damn thing in these playoffs, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's leading the playoffs in blocks. No. You know what I'm saying? He's still that's playing. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like again, hey, they they not worried about him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, yo, we going right at his motherfucking chest. He going to do something. Gafford. Going, of the guys still playing, is Gafford. Yeah, yeah. he going to do something. Yeah. He going to foul you. He going to give up a big bucket or something. And that's what a lot of these cats is thinking. That's their mentality with him. Like, oh, yeah. like you said, hey, no. Yeah. Hey, she, come set this yeah, screen. No. We going to put Rudy in his motherfucking <laughs> PNR. Like, come on. You know when I lost my mind with, 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 with the voting and all this stuff with Defensive Player of the Year? Do you remember that year Mark Gasol won Defensive Player of the Year and made second team all defense? Mm-hmm. Yep. How is that? <laughs> Would you say make that make sense? Uh, <laughs> I never. I, yeah, Dwight Howard might have had one like that too. Like everybody you know I mean? happened you know, a couple times. How crazy is that though? Second team. And that just lets me know a lot of them dudes just go off stats. Mm-hmm. They look at the stats of it and like, oh, he averaged four point five blocks or three three point. Wasn't a game changer. You know what I'm saying? All that type of stuff. Like he got to be that. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to pick him. Like, like I was happy that year they chose Marcus Smart as a defensive player of the year because guy. they really because he they, locks up he locks up you yeah. know what i'm saying like you know what i mean like if it was a wing out there it, it, we expect him to lock he that wing. That yeah take that assignment and really chase this dude and lock him up he can't yep. be he can't be 12 for 17 this game he got to be six for 19 six yep. for 20 those are the type of games he got to have because you're the defensive player of the year so that's what i think of and i don't think of a and don't get me wrong they're important to the team but just somebody who can just weak side block and that's because you're big and you get blocks. I don't think, I don't consider that. But it's important. But I don't For consider sure. that as. Primary. Yeah, because I need somebody on these wings chasing these dudes who are averaging 30, 35, them could have a crazy night and get 60 or 70 on us. I need somebody to stop them. I need you to be aggressive without fouling. You know what I'm saying? That's so that, the, yeah. that's the way I look at it. Mm-hmm. It does feel like, like you were saying, this shows the biggest difference between regular season and postseason. Mm-hmm. Like I think Gobert is, he's shown he's a dominant regular season defender. Yeah. The postseason, <clears throat> I don't want to say it's two different styles of basketball. Maybe y'all can speak. Is it two different styles? I would say, is it two different styles of basketball? Because yeah. look at it. Now, now you have a lot, a lot more key figures playing on these other teams. Regular season, you dealing with the whole league. So half of them going to be fucking scared of him anyway because yeah. he's 7'4", seven, 7'5". Seven, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they... They ain't never, like you said, they ain't never seen a dude that yeah. tall before. Yeah, that but, kind of wingspan. Yeah, yeah, but when you're used to it, you know what I'm saying, it's it's kind of easy for you to do, especially when, you know, he's not fleet of feet. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. come on, like the shit, we seen how Kyrie hit the little lefty hook over over the outstretched arm of Rudy, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he's, yeah, I'm used to seeing seven-footers, or maybe he used to seeing that 7'4", seven, 7'5", seven, for this series, but 
a lot of the younger guys in the league, they aren't used to seeing that. So, yeah, he's going to get those blocks because they don't know how to attack him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you now, what is it, playoff time, money time, you got more experienced guys who know how to attack that 7-4, 7-5 frame. Yeah. And, and, and also, when you're in the season, you're just playing games. So, I might, yep. so like, just say I'm a Eastern Conference team and I'm playing against a Western Conference team. We play you twice a year. We play you once at home, once on the road. We might play you in the December. I might not play you again until March. You know what I mean? Right. So, mm -hmm. I don't got a good feel for you. I'm not, you know, we just, this is just a scouting report. Hey, let's stop this, stop that. Hopefully, we get a win tonight. Mm -hmm. But in we the just playoff. just came in from a different city. Yeah, we just came in from a different city. Yeah. We playing, but in playoffs now, okay. We can really you. home in and lock yep. in on everything, you on know, weaknesses, you. strengths, and all that stuff. We can really get detailed on it, too, and we can give you more information. So mm -hmm. you don't want to overload the guys. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to overload them for information. You want to, you know, make it small as possible <laughs> so they can just, all right, this is what it is. You don't want them thinking. You want to react it. So now we're in the playoffs. Now we give them more detailed stuff. This is what it is. This is the game plan. This is what he can and can't do. These, we might throw a bunch of analytics stuff at you just to kind of just give you, you know, a bunch of useless, not useless, but information that can help you if you're into that stuff. Mm, and, work. But when you're in the regular <clears throat> season, you just, like you said, we might have just got in from New Orleans. We flew in from New Orleans. We played New Orleans. Now we done came up to Minnesota. We don't, you know, right. but we're from L.A., you know what I'm saying, time zones, all this type mm -hmm. of stuff. Let's just play this game. People Hope, hurt. Play people play play so it's just yeah. so. The, the 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 scouting report is the sheet is probably this big, you know what I'm saying? But when we're in the playoffs, the sheet get a lot bigger because now it's more detailed. Mm.